If you're taking the AZ-900 exam this month, these five questions will make or break your score. I've helped 1,000 plus students pass. Let's get you certified. Question 81 exam notes. Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Each correct correct selection is worth one point. Select benefits of Azure Resource Manager. Options are A, apply tags to resources to logically organize all the resources in your subscription. B, deploy, manage, and monitor all the resources for your solution as a group, rather than handling these resources individually. C, define the dependencies between resources so they're deployed in the correct order. D, manage your infrastructure through scripts. This question is asking which features are specific benefits of using Azure Resource Manager when working with Azure Resources. Focus on what Azure Resource Manager helps you do at the management and deployment layer. Think about ARM's core capabilities for organizing, grouping, and deploying resources. Correct answer, A. Apply tags to resources to logically organize all the resources in your subscription. B. Deploy, manage, and monitor all the resources for your solution as a group, rather than handling these resources individually. C. Define the dependencies between resources so they're deployed in the correct order. Azure Resource Manager supports tagging resources, which helps you logically organize, filter, and report on resources across your subscription, so option A is correct. It also lets you deploy, manage, and monitor related resources as a group through resource groups and templates instead of handling each resource individually, which makes option B correct. Azure Resource Manager templates support defining dependencies, so resources deploy in the right sequence automatically, making option C correct. Option D is incorrect because Azure Resource Manager's benefit is managing infrastructure through declarative templates rather than scripts. ARM moves you away from imperative scripting to declarative template-based infrastructure management using ARM templates or BICEP. Quick memory tip. Think ARM equals tag group order. Tags for organizing A, group management B, order with dependencies C. Scripts are the old way, not ARM's benefit. Question 82, grants or denies access based on the originating IP address. Select the correct option to fill the blank. The options are A, Azure Firewall, B, Microsoft Defender for Cloud, C, Azure Active Directory, D, VPN Gateway. This question is asking which Azure service controls access by checking the source IP address of incoming traffic. Think about which service acts as a security barrier that filters network traffic based on where requests are coming from. The correct answer is A, Azure Firewall. Azure Firewall creates network filtering rules by source and destination IP address, port, and protocol to allow or deny traffic. It's a managed cloud network security service that filters traffic based on originating IP addresses and blocks malicious IPs through threat intelligence. This makes option A correct. Option B is incorrect because Microsoft Defender for Cloud is a security posture management tool that provides security recommendations and threat protection, not IP-based access control. Option C is incorrect because Azure Active Directory handles identity and authentication, who the user is, not network-level IP address filtering. Option D is incorrect because VPN Gateway creates secure connections between networks, but doesn't grant or deny access based on originating IP addresses as its primary function. Quick memory tip. Think firewall eats IP filter. Azure Firewall checks the IP address first, then decides to allow or block. It's the gatekeeper for IP-based traffic control. Question 83. After you create a virtual machine, you need to modify the to allow connections to TCP port 880 on the virtual machine. Select the correct option to fill the blank. The options are A, Network Security Group, NSG, B, Route Table, C, Virtual Network, D, Virtual Network Gateway. This question is asking which Azure component you must configure to open a specific TCP port 8080 for incoming connections to a VM. Think about what controls traffic flow at the port level and acts as a security filter for virtual machines. The correct answer is A, Network Security Group, NSG. Network security groups, NSGs, contain security rules that allow or deny inbound and outbound traffic based on protocol, port, source, and destination. To allow TCP port 8080 connections to a VM, you create an inbound security rule in the NSG specifying the port number, protocol, TCP, and action, allow. This makes option A correct. Option B is incorrect because route tables control traffic routing paths between subnets and networks, not port level access control. 
Option C is incorrect because virtual networks provide the address space in isolation, but don't control which specific ports are open or closed. Option D is incorrect because virtual network gateways establish VPN or express route connections between networks, not port level traffic filtering for individual VMs. Quick memory tip, think NSG equals port security guard. Network security group controls which ports are open or closed on your VM. Want to open port 8080? Modify the NSG. If this video is helping you, support us by hitting the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Question 84. To evaluate whether Azure meet your company regulatory requirement, you should select the correct option to fill the blank. The options are A, use Compliance Manager, B, use Microsoft Defender for Cloud, C, use Azure Advisor Hub, D, raise a support ticket. This question is asking which Azure tool you should use to assess and track whether Azure services comply with your organization's regulatory and compliance standards. Think about which tool provides assessments, templates, and tracking for regulatory compliance requirements like GDPR, HIPAA, or ISO standards. The correct answer is A, use Compliance Manager. Microsoft Purview Compliance Manager, formerly just Compliance Manager is the tool designed to evaluate and track regulatory compliance across Azure and Microsoft 365 services. It provides over 360 regulatory templates for standards like GDPR, ISO, NIST, and HIPAA, performs assessments, and tracks your compliance score. This makes option A correct. Option B is incorrect because Microsoft Defender for Cloud provides security posture management and threat protection. Though it does have a regulatory compliance dashboard as a feature, it's not the primary tool for comprehensive compliance evaluation. Option C is incorrect because Azure Advisor Hub provides recommendations for cost optimization, performance, reliability, and security, not regulatory compliance tracking. Option D is incorrect because raising a support ticket is for getting technical help, not for systematically evaluating compliance against regulatory requirements. Quick memory tip, think compliance manager equals regulation checker. Need to check if Azure meets regulatory requirements? Use compliance manager with its 360 plus regulation templates. Question 85, you need to process messages from a queue, parse them by using some existing imperative logic written in Java, and then send them to a third party API. Which server less option should you choose? The options are A, Azure Functions, B, Azure App Service, C, Azure Logic Apps, D, Azure Kubernetes Service. This question is asking which serverless Azure service is best suited for running existing custom code, Java Logic, to process queue messages. Key phrase to notice, existing imperative logic written in Java. This tells you that you already have code that needs to be executed, not a workflow to design visually. The correct answer is A, Azure Functions. Azure Functions is a serverless compute service designed for executing custom imperative code in languages like Java, c -sharp, Python, PowerShell, and Node.js. It's ideal for processing queue messages with existing code logic and supports queue triggers and API bindings. Since you have existing Java code, Functions is the right choice for running that code in a serverless, event-driven manner. This makes option A correct. Option B is incorrect because Azure App Service is not serverless. It requires you to provision and manage app service plans, unlike the fully serverless consumption model of functions. Option C is incorrect because Azure Logic Apps is designed for declarative visual workflow automation without writing code. While it can call functions, it's not optimized for running existing imperative Java logic directly. Option D is incorrect because Azure Kubernetes Service is a container orchestration platform that requires significant infrastructure management and is not serverless. Quick memory tip, think functions equals code execution. Got existing code in Java, Python, or C-sharp? Use Azure Functions. Need a visual workflow? Use Logic Apps. To get the free PDF or mock test, comment PDF or mock or both, I will share the downloadable link within next 24 hours.